हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक्निकल क्लासेस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस द कमांड्स वर्ड प्रेजेंट इन एट टू फाइव नाइन इन दैट वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन द फर्स्ट कमांड वर्ड दैट इज द इनिशियलाइजेशन कमांड वर्ड वन नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द इनिशियलाइजेशन कमांड वर्ड टू सो द इनिशियलाइजेशन कमांड वर्ड टू इज यूज फॉर इंटर ऑफ वेक्टर एड्रेस ओके you can see in the figure that it contains nine bits in which the last bit that is a0 okay this bit is already set to one and this bit indicate that you are using the initialization command word two okay and also uh, we discuss in the last lecture that the first two initialization command word that is the ICW one and ICW two. These two are compulsory command word, and ICW three and four are optional. Okay, and that command word will depend on the the mode used by your processor. That is eight two five nine. Okay, so this is the format for initialization command word two, in which it contain the nine bits. The last bit that is MSB A zero. is indicate that you are using the initialization command word two okay and the remaining bit that is the from d zero to d seven these bits are used for inter of vector address okay and this is used to load the higher order byte of the interrupt vector address of all the interrupt okay so this is all about the initialization command word two okay now we will discuss the initialization command word three okay so the initialization command word three is required only if there is a more than eight to five nine in the system okay means the eight to five nine is working in a cascaded mode okay and icw three operation load a slave register in the programmable interrupt controller the format of the byte that to be loaded in your initialization command word t in master mode also in case of slave mode is shown in the figure that i will show in the next slide okay so in the master mode each bit in the icw3 is used to specify it has a slave that is the 8 to 5 9 is attached to its corresponding interrupt request input okay means there is a first one 8 to 5 9 processor is present okay and that 8 to 5 9 processor has eight input interrupt request line and that interrupt request line is also connected with the other 8 to 5 line processor okay this type of connection is called cascade mode okay so in the master mode each bit in icw3 is used to specify whether it has a slave 8 to 5 line attached to its corresponding interrupt request input okay and for slave the bits d0 to d2 okay in the initialization command word 3 are used to assign the slave identification code that is the slave id to the programmable interrupt controller okay now we will see the format see this is the command word format in case of master mode and in case of the slave mode for icw3 so in case of master mode all the bits are present number 9 okay so the last bit that is the a0 is already set to 1 okay and the remaining bits from d0 to d7 okay all these bit is set to 1 when interrupt request input has a slave okay 
and it is set to zero if interrupt request does not have a slave okay so this is in case of master mode now in case of slave mode see this slave mode is used for storing the slave id right as usual the last bit that is a0 is set to 1 to indicate that you are using the initialization command word 3 and then your lsp that is that is 0 d1 and d2 this three bits is used as a id for slave mode okay and the remaining bit from d3 to d7 is set to 0 okay it cannot be changed it is predefined bits okay so the last three bits lsp d2 d1 d0 is used for slave id code okay so this is the all about initialization command word 3 so in in case of master mode it is used for just storing the interrupt request input okay whether it is operating in a slave mode or whether is it operating in the master mode okay in slave mode all the bits will set to 1 and in if it not working in a slave mode then all the bits will be set to 0 okay and the icw3 in save slave mode it is used for slave id okay in which the last three bit lsb is used for storing the slave code or id okay and the remaining bits is already initialized or predefined okay now the last initialization command word that is the icw4 okay in this it is loaded only if the d0 bit of icw1 is set okay so you can see in the figure this is the format for icw4 okay in which the last bit already set to 1 okay okay that is your msb a0 address input pin the remaining bits if we study the remaining bits that you can see the bit d5 d6 and d7 is already set to 0 okay and the remaining bits from d0 to d4 okay these bits is used for specific purpose right so this is the format okay so last bit that is d0 this bit indicate that the microprocessor used okay if it is set to 1 means you are using 8086 or 8088 right and if this bit is set to 0 then it is it is used by 8085 okay second bit that is the d1 that is for automatic end of interrupt okay it is set to z zero if your processor is working in a normal end of interrupt okay and if your processor uses the automatic end of interrupt then this bit is set to one okay now the next two bit that is the d2 and d3 okay so these two bits are used in the mode used by your device okay so it uses buffer mode okay if these two bits set to zero and don't care that is the x okay then the processor is working in a non-buffer mode okay if these two bits set to one zero then 
it is used by buffer mode and if this set 1 1 means it is buffer mode in master okay and 1 0 4 slave then the d4 okay this is used for uh, selecting the mode if this bit is set to 1 means it is use a special fully nested mode and set to 0 means it is not used by special fully nested mode now what is this special fully nested mode and buffer mode that we will discuss in the next video okay thank you